queries, forms, and reports in MS Access. A database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can easily be accessed, managed, and updated. In MS Access, table is a warehouse of the information you store in your database. Form is a unique way of viewing the information in the table. It allows to enter new data and access the existing records. Queries draw the data from the records already in the table based on certain criteria. Report is used to present and summarize the data in an attractive manner. In this chapter, you will learn about forms, queries and reports. Queries Queries are those that truly make the work in a database. Query is used to filter the data according to a certain criteria or specification. Its most common function is to recover specific data of the tables. Query is a question asked from tables to extract information from the table. The result obtained is also a table but filtered. Creating a query there are two ways to create a query. Query wizard, query design. Creating a query using query wizard. With the query wizard, you can select a group of records based on some rules you specify. Example, if you have a database that contains large amount of information in one or more tables, you can use a carefully designed query to collect or display just a few records that satisfy some numeric or logical value. Step 1. Select the Create tab and click on Query Wizard in the Queries group. Step 2. Select the Simple Query Wizard option from given four options and click on OK button. Step 3. Select fields by first highlighting the field from under the available fields heading and then clicking the asterisk button one by one. After selecting the fields, click on next button. Step 4. Assign the name for the query and then click on finish button. The result of query is given on the screen. Creating a query using Design View Step 1 Select the Create tab and click on Query Design in the Queries group. Step 2 Select the table in which you are going to apply the query from Show Table dialog box. Click on Add button. You can repeat the steps to add several related tables. Step 3 in the table box, you will see the list of its field names. Select the fields by double-clicking on their names to which you want to apply the query. Step 4. The selected fields will appear at the top of each column in the query design grid. Step 5. Now assign the criteria or condition into the appropriate cell of the query design grid. Example. You want to extract the records where mathematics marks are greater than 70. Step 6. Save your query by clicking on the save icon with a suitable name. Step 7. Click on run icon under the results group of the ribbon. Result will appear. Forms. A form is a database object that you can use to create a user interface for a database application. It allows you to add and update data, one record at a time in a table. Forms are made up of controls such as text boxes, buttons, document tabs and drop-down lists, grouped in a way that makes them easy to use. It is user-friendly way of entering, editing and viewing the information in the table. In real life, a form is piece of paper that you fill out so that someone can collect and keep track of specific information about you. MS Access provides three main views in which a form is displayed. Form view. It is used to enter and edit data. Layout view. 
it is the only view that is available for designing firms. It is used to change the look and feel of a firm. Design view It gives you a more detailed view of the structure of your firm. You can see the header, detail and footer sections of the firm. You can create a form in various ways using Form command Form wizard Split form Creating a new form using form command The basic form command is the one that allows the person entering the data to see just one record at a time. Step 1 Select the table you wish to use as a source table. Step 2 Click on the Create tab and go to the Form script and click on Form. A new form opens in Layout view. Step 3 To edit or enter data in the form, click on Home tab, then on View. Now click on Form view. You can change records in the form by moving through them from the navigation bar. Step 4 Click on the Save button. Type the form name and click on OK. Creating a form using Form Wizard In order to select better criteria, the fields that are going to appear in a form, you can use the wizard for the forms instead of the diverse tools of form creation. Step 1 Click on the Create tab and go to the Form script and click on Form Wizard. Step 2 Select the fields to use in the form creation. Press the Next button. Step 3. Select the form layout. Press the Next button. Step 4. Assign a name to the form and click on Finish button. The result form will appear. Creating a form using Split form. Step 1. Click on More forms in the form script on the Create tab. Step 2. Select the option Split Form. The output will appear as shown on the screen. The form is displayed in the upper half of the window and the database is displayed in the lower half. You can click on any record which you want to display in the form. Reports A report is an effective way to present and summarize the data using an attractive layout. Report is a presentation of data in a printed format. MS Access 2010 offers tools that allow you to create and format a report. Creating a report using Report command. Step 1. Click on the Create tab and go to the Reports group and click on Report. The report will automatically be generated and will include every field in the table in order of their appearance in the table. Creating a report using Report Wizard Step 1 Click on the Create tab and go to the Reports group and click on Report Wizard. Step 2 Select the query or table and fields to use in report creation. Select the fields by first highlighting the field under the Report Wizard heading and then clicking the Greater Than Symbol button one by one then click on Next button. Step 3. Select the fields for grouping. Press the Next button. Step 4. Select the sort order and click on Next button. Step 5. Select the report layout and page orientation. Press Next button. Step 6. Press the Next button. Step 7. Assign the name to report and select Preview the report option. Click on the Finish button to see your report.